going everybody Knox out here just bring you another quick tutorial um, I received a reply uh, from my last video I did on how to set up the um, the MPK mini uh, with uh, reason 9 well the question was how to set up your MPK mini pads correctly with the Kong um, drum pads inside reason because when you switch it from bank A to bank B it was skipping pads and then it will continue on and so forth so first things first you're going to need to go download the MPK mini uh, MK2 editor if you haven't already okay and we're gonna do this first before we even go into reason okay it's real simple real simple real simple so let's go ahead and go okay um, alright now on program two, I already have it already set up previously, but I'm not going to go to that section. I'm going to go to program three and do it from scratch to show you guys on how to set it up. Okay, all right. But um, let's go and get. Let's go to option, device, and PK Mini two, and PK Mini two. All right. Apply. Push OK. All right. Now let's see here. Okay, in program one. What I just click right here. Um, this is the factory settings coming straight from the, um, straight out the box factory setting. This is what it would look like. Okay. Now, like I said in program two, this is where I made my changes to make it work correctly with uh, with the Kong um, drum designer. This is how it would look. Okay. But I'm going to show you from scratch. Okay, on how to set it up. All right, so let's use program three. So let's go here, program three. All right, now what you're going to want to do is go to the tool uh, in your toolbar section and go, go to the tools and go to uh, auto populate. All right, now you're going to want to check this um, box right here, set scale chromatically. Okay, now you're going to want to pick. Go to C2. All right. Now apply that to bank A. Okay. Now you see the changes that it made to bank A. It already did it. You see? All right. Now go back. Now we're going to pick G sharp 2. G sharp 2. There we go. Push apply to bank B. Don't don't push apply to bank A. We already did bank A. Push apply to bank B. Okay. All right. As you can see. Okay. All right. Now you can close that. Now. All right. This is what we're gonna do here. Okay. In this section down here. We're going to change this to one. All right. And that's pretty much it. And then all we have to do now, okay, is send. And it's already there. Remember, we already, an option device, we already made sure we, you know, make sure you set, um, set those right. Okay, apply, okay, and send. All right, now it's set up. It's in your program. Okay, we can close this and open up Reason. Let's go ahead and open up our Kong. Okay. Now, okay. What you want to do, okay, on your MPK Mini, to the far right, um, by your knob section, you should see a button that says Program, uh, program Select. Okay, hold that. And then you should see a um, your pads lighting up. Uh, where pad five, and next to that is, it's, it says program one. That pad will light up. Okay, that's you're in program one right now. Okay, still holding down the program um, select button. What you're going to do is we use what did we use? We use program three. So okay, push program three, and then we should have it here. Okay. Now, mind you, you're probably seeing the um, arpeggiator uh, section being lit up. Don't worry about that. You can turn it off. That happens because it was already set up within uh, program three. So just turn it off. 
Don't be alarmed. Just turn it off. Okay. Now, now everything should be fine. We're in bank A. Okay, now we're going to switch to bank B. And there you have it. I know it's simple. Um, I'm sure you're probably saying, wow, I can't believe it was that easy. Could have found that out. But hey, it's all good, man. Um, hopefully, it helped somebody. Um, and uh, shout out to Chris Jenkins for getting up at me. Uh, and asking this question, uh, hopefully that helps you, man. Um, just uh, you can always reply back if you got any more questions. And um, yeah, until then, man, everybody enjoy. Peace.